Hi, it's me. This is the instruction video for the Heart Lock card using the SVG file I created and linked down below. In this video, I will show you how to use the score file, how to use the dashed line file, and of course, assembly. Let's get started. How to use the score file. I will be using Cricut Design Space to demonstrate. Please use the software compatible with your machine. Click Upload. Then click Upload Image. You will have the option to drag the file or browse for a file. I will drag the file. The file is called HeartLockScore underscore SVG. A preview image will appear. Click Continue. Another image will appear, click Upload. By default, the image is loaded grouped together. You can resize it to whatever size you want. To size it to its intended size, resize it to 8.65 inches wide by 9.694 inches in height. To confirm it is the right size, open the group and click the yellow square. It should be 3.25 inches by 3.25 inches. Let's ungroup the main group and review all the pieces. The pink and white are decoration. The yellow is a frame. The purple is the main card. Click it. Open up the card group, then click the funky lines. Change the operation to score, then the lines will appear dashed. Click the main card grouping and then click attach. Now these will be cut and scored together. Now we are ready to cut, click make and follow the instructions on screen. How to use the dashed file. I will be using Cricut Design Space to demonstrate. Please use the software compatible with your machine. Click Upload, then click Upload Image. You will have the option to drag the file or browse for a file. I will drag the file. The file is called heartlock-svg. A preview image will appear. Click Continue. A preview image will appear again. Click Upload. By default, the image is loaded grouped together and you can resize it to whatever size you want while they're grouped together. To size it to its intended size, resize it to 8.65 inches wide by 9.534 inches in height. To confirm it is the right size, open the group and click the yellow square. It should be 3.25 inches by 3.25 inches. Let's ungroup the main group and review all the pieces. The pink and white are decoration. The purple is the main card. The yellow is a frame for an explosion box. The main card is dashed lines instead of score lines, so this card is ready to cut. Click Make and follow the instructions on screen. How to assemble the card. Let's review the pieces. These pieces are decoration. The large square is the frame. The small one is for the inside. This is the base card. Let's focus on folding this now. Fold the second crease on the left towards the center. Then fold this half heart towards the left. Fold the second crease from the right towards the center. Fold the half heart towards the right. Fold this top part down. Then the heart should go through this opening to lock it. And that's it. Now we can decorate. These hearts get glued right here and here. Apply your favorite adhesive, then place them here and here. Now we have these pieces that can get glued here, here and here. Or you can open it up and glue it here or here. Or you can open up again and glue it here. 
Or you can make multiple copies and glue them in all spots. Choice is yours. For this video, I'm going to glue it on the cover. Now let's open up the card and glue the smaller square on the inside. Just like this. Now you can close the card up and you're done. Ta-da! Unless you want to put this in an explosion box, then glue it to this piece. It acts as a frame. Thank you for watching. Please don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions. Take care, guys, and have a great day. Bye.